Hi everybody, Mother Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you're all doing well today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today we're going to get some um, cards from the traditional Rider Waite Tarot. We're going to clarify with Tarot Gazing deck and we're going to get um, some cards from the Portal Oracle. I thought I would start with the Portal Oracle um, to give us an overall theme for this collective reading today. It's interesting what we have learned and what we're taking with us and bridges. Very, very, very uh, good start, right? places we have been, the things that we are doing, some bridges are meant to cross and some bridges are meant to burn. You know, what uh, What have we learned from the past that we can take with us into the future, that we can teach our future selves and future generations um, that will help them know which bridges to cross. See, the things that we've learned, the past is set in stone. We are uh, physical, we are in this moment, we are present, right? And then there's this future that's expansive and open and everything is possible. You know, how do we bridge those gaps? Let's see, here's the Portal Oracle book, number 12. Mm. Bridges connect things that can't be moved. They're meant to go over, but are sometimes gone under. Both ways are considerably shorter than going around. Sometimes there is no other way around. Bridges can take us many places we can't go without them in the world. And in our understanding of each other, they connect people and buildings and countries. Bridges even connect galaxies. Is there a gap you need to cross? A divide that needs to be unified? Is there something on the other side that can't be gotten to from where you are? Is there some water that needs to be allowed to flow under one? Have any been burned? Do some need to be rebuilt? Where might we go by crossing some bridges today? Hmm. Yes. It's a matter of wait. I saw the page of swords. Messages coming through. Learning and observing. We talked about this. All this knowledge that we're bringing with us. You know? Learning what is malleable, what is present, and what is set in stone. We get the chariot to start. Very interesting. Yeah, successful going. We can drive our chariot over this bridge. Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, Three of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands in reverse, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Moon in reverse. We get the Five of Wands on the bottom. Now, three, four, five of wands. Three is in the reverse, four is in the reverse. We're moving forward towards something we love. Yes, yesterday there was a mention in the comments about, you know, um, heart overhead decisions, right? Um, sometimes the logical choice is the same as the choice that our heart wants, right? Moving towards the thing that we love. There we go, crossing those bridges, right? The King of Pentacles over the Three of Pentacles, working hard, steadfast, right? Moving away from foundations. Here's this insinuation of moving away from foundations that aren't solid, right? You're going someplace, going places. I heard going places, right? This offer of love helps us get across. Another way to cross large bodies of water is by via boat, right? So there's all this insinuation of movement, of getting from one place to another. We were somewhere. We are somewhere. We want to be somewhere else. And this isn't a matter of waiting for things to be revealed. Three, uh, three of pentacles in the upright, three of wands in the reverse with this moon card, right? It's pretty obvious to us in the way the King of Pentacles is looking at this fighting, looking at this moon, right? Your reputation precedes you. It the, built the bridges for you with your good works. It helped you establish foundation to move forward into the great unknown because it isn't unknown. You know where you're going now. Can we please have... Oh. gazing for the chariot and the four of wands 
It's almost like this thing that we had uh, built or that had been presented to us with the idea of it being a celebration. Um, ton of swords. Yeah, it wasn't really that fun. <laughs> it was actually quite painful and we learned a lot from it. Um, but we need to move forward now. Three of, three of pentacles on the bottom I see here in the reverse, right? Um, not getting anywhere and it being a very painful experience but again swords are thoughts right swords are communication things that we've learned we learned from this experience and I can't help but see there's this four wands sinking down just like these four or these ten swords are you know it's time to get up and move away from the things that are painful to us something was very very painful to us and what it did was it kind of lit a fire under our butt and so it's time to activate a little bit and it was also told to me yesterday that um it, taking action without resources isn't a wise action, and to that I would say, gathering your resources is an action. More than doers, we are deciders. Once we decide, the doing becomes easy. We'll spend much more time. Analy we should spend much more time analyzing in most situations, in most things in our lives. Sometimes we have to act quickly, but it helps to, when we have to act quickly. If we've thought about it first, if we've made those preparations in our mind first, if so that when it's time to go, when we're ready to go, when it's time to move forward, right? These are the, the same kingdom in the background. See the kingdom behind there? See the kingdom behind there? Right? Moving forward past the things that hurt us, if we know that it's painful, if we know that the uh, situation can't be trusted, faulty foundations, not really um, the place for us to be. So we, we decide to move forward victoriously through our own strength, through our own power, through our own will, right? That's what the chariot is about, victoriously. But the seven, analyze it look into the details know where you're going in that way when your head and your heart are on the same page you will arrive to your destination safely ace of cups six of swords king of swords in reverse yeah we may be moving past someone who's a bit narcissistic um there's a king of pentacles in the upright here and we're moving away from someone um king of pentacle or king of swords in the reverse is very controlling through thought through communication he could play a lot of mind games um he could ooh, put laws in place that keep you from moving now those are um like rules that we abide by rules that we live by that could be in the home that could be in the workplace that could be societal right but realizing that there's an offer of love coming in from someone who is stable who does have their shit together right is capable of um creating a foundation of work that people come to learn from right that could be you moving towards that that could be someone else we have two kings on the board um there's a lot of action being taken and one is very impulsive and impatient and um one is like an investor look at all that gold look at all that bright beautiful shining colors Right on the top row, we have a, we have the victory moving towards this when we get offered this love, um, this loving offer. Wow. Ace of Cups in the reverse came out while talking about this. Now we have it in the upright and the reverse. Ooh, just uh, what that feeling of that syndrome where the um, abused, what's it called, Stockholm syndrome, right, where the abused defend their abusers because they've been in such a narcissistic mind trap. They've been gaslighted so many times. Gaslit? What would be the proper term? I don't know. He does. He doesn't care, right? Say, oh, I can't go toward this person who's offering me a real cup of love because I am not capable of love. This is what this person told me. Well, that's not true. Right? This person's telling you someone doesn't love you who's offering you this. That's not true. That's their narcissistic mind trap. Don't fall in. He's encouraging us to please move away from this. Can I please have one for the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, please? Ooh, not wanting to move away. Ace of Vessels in the reverse and Judgment in the reverse. Wow. Is it in your best interest? Is it a wise judgment to stay put for something that doesn't love you? 
that you don't love that isn't really bringing you when there's this possibility for real life shine here, right? What have we learned from the past? What are we taking with us into the future? What bridges are we building here? What bridges are we leaving behind? Okay, please have one for this three of uh, wands in reverse and the moon, please. Temperance in reverse. Don't allow um, others' poor behavior and this this incessant fighting to keep you um, away from your opportunities, right? Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's almost like they're watching you to keep you stay put, to throw those bits out there. And this King of Pentacles is also watching to see what you'll do. Be careful with the information that you're sharing. Be careful with who you're sharing it with and which way you're going, right? Some things can't be mixed. Some things must be left behind where, um, wow, just like being held back by this emotional draw. See how it's driving us to someplace barren and empty? I just saw 1111. When we flip it in the upright and we're moving towards the things that we love, towards that emotional fulfillment, right? We're walking through a garden where growth is available. But if we refuse to learn and to, um, we keep trying to mix things together that just aren't going to mix well together, our chariot's going to drive us right off the road. And that might be what um, this king of swords wants. For us and from us and by us all right get some advice what can we do portal oracle water number 38 very interesting and crossing bridges talking about taking a boat maybe if we need to Ace of Cups upright, Ace of Cups in reverse. All this is water. All this is water. Hmm. Is that it? And three plus eight equals eleven. Okay. Water is the lifeblood of our world. It is the basic requirements for life. We humans can't survive very long without it. Emotions are the lifeblood of the soul. Surface emotions can run deep underneath. Diving can be scary, especially when we don't know how to swim. If mastered, water will reward us with incredible gifts. Hidden treasures, like pearls of wisdom, are only accessible to those who've taken the time to hone their skills. Gorgeous views expand the horizons like a compassionate sunset that has the same majesty and beauty from anywhere on earth you watch it. Are you going to let the tides decide your fate? Will you let the river's eddies whirlpool you into drowning? Will you become a diver, a sailor? Will you relax with the flow and flow with the currents? Or will you just stick your toes in, stay dry? Are you the master of your waters? Water flows, can you be fluid in your movement? Mm. Chariots move over bridges. Boats move over and through water. What this is saying to us right now is that we have the ability to go places on land, right? In real life, tangible, earthly realm, King of Pentacles. We have the ability to move forward in the world, but emotionally, we also have the ability to move forward. We just be fluid with ourselves, right? We can go over it on the boat. That's our mental, our thoughts, right? And here's this guy rescuing these people and taking them off to calmer waters. Or we can stay put because we're defending someone who would or some situation, right, that would prefer to drain us of our love and continue to keep us down and not revisit our judgments of how to, you know, staying put, things aren't mixing forward. They're not mixing together. 
the fire and the water aren't, aren't congealing. We're losing our patience and therefore making poor judgments. We're missing opportunities, um, which are here trying to be offered to you. But it does feel like, and here's the moon in reverse again underneath here. Yeah, it does feel like um, things are being revealed to others that are being utilized to keep us in place. And it's up to us to uh, move forward across the bridges, through the water, over the trail, you know, and get to um, the better destination. Don't wait on someone else to uh, say, don't wait on someone else to save you. Everyone else is kind of watching for you to save yourself. Fifteen fifty-five. when I just looked up, big changes ahead, big changes ahead. Well, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I had uh, previously had a uh, offer to, if you guys have questions for the collective and you want to put them in the um, description box or the comment box below, and we can ask them for, um, for collective readings, if there's anything that you want to know or you'd like for me to draw on. Um, Wednesdays, which is tomorrow, we go live and um, I will be answering personal questions and doing a collective reading. That's at noon Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time um, every Wednesday. And we are at, uh, we're approaching getting closer to having 100 subscribers. And um, I made a promise that when I got to 100 subscribers that we would do um, individual sign readings, uh, maybe, you know, just short, small readings um for everyone and we'll just see how that goes so um if if this is your first time visiting thank you so much for being here if you've been here uh before and if you're one of our crew thank you so much i love you so much thank you um and i hope to see you all again tomorrow